A verdict has been issued in the espionage trial of the Washington Post the journalist Jason Rezaian. That according to Iranian state media. The report didn't give any details on the verdict or the sentence, but it did say there was a possibility of appeal. Rezaian is a dual U.S. and Iranian citizen. He's been held in Iran now for 448 days. Ali Rezaian is Jason Rezaian's brother. He's now joining us from Washington. Uh, Ali, thanks very much for joining us. How much, first of all, are you learning about this conviction itself and the sentencing by Iran's revolutionary court? You know, we really don't have much more information. We uh, asked Jason's lawyer to go out and talk to the judge, uh, and they uh, rejected giving her any information about uh, the verdict. So right now, we're still waiting. Uh, they made some claims that uh, they needed to have a translator present in order to uh, pass on the uh, the judgment, but uh, right now we're still waiting, and, and just it's very similar to what we've been doing the last six months. Have you been talking with uh, U.S. officials, State Department officials? If you have, what are they telling you? You know, we've spoken with them on and off uh, throughout this entire process. Uh, what they've always said uh, was they always brought it up uh, during the negotiations, and what we also know, and what they, what both sides have said, is that this is a topic that they they talk about. Um, have been talking about after uh, the nuclear deal was over. So that's hopeful that they continue to talk about that uh, at a diplomatic level. But, you know, there really hasn't been much to, to see for it. As you know, there's been some uh, media speculation out there. Some Iranian officials have even uh, spoken of this so-called strategy that may be releasing these Americans, including your brother, as part of some prisoner swap. Uh, it, there are Iranians being held in American prisons. What do you know, if anything, about that? You know, I don't know anything about what's going on with there. You'd have to talk about the talk to the government. But what I know is Jason's innocent. Uh, the idea that he should be held in prison uh, because of something that somebody else did uh, here in the United States when he was over in Iran just doing his job as a journalist is, is offensive to me, and it should be offensive to everybody. I can't believe that the Iranian government would come out and suggest that when he's just an innocent man. He shouldn't be held uh, because of somebody else and, and what they did. Do you and your family ever have a chance uh, to speak with Jason? You know, I haven't been able to speak with Jason uh, since before he was taken, but my mom, who's in Iran right now, and his wife are both able to see him once a week, uh, and they are also able to speak to him on the phone for about five minutes uh, once or twice a week. So they do get to interactions with him, but those are really the only two people that are able to see him other than the guards and whatnot. Has he been made aware of this conviction? Um, oddly enough, he heard about it on Iranian TV. So that's how he was, was told about it. How's he doing, his health, uh, his, his spirits, if you will? You know, I got to say, he's really depressed. These things keep on coming up. There's all these milestones, whether it's the U.N. General Assembly uh, or the nuclear deal. All these things come, and he gets his hopes up that something's going to happen, and then nothing happens. Now, here, he has to be finding out that there's a conviction on TV, but he still doesn't know what it is. It's cruel. It's, um, it's just inhumane the way they're treating him uh, mentally, uh, and it's just taking a huge toll on him. I, he's, he's very depressed, and I'm just really worried for him. We all are. Is there anything viewers here in the United States or around the world right now can do to, to help? You know, right now it would be great if people go to um, uh, uh, change.org slash free Jason. They can sign the petition there. Half a million people have signed it from 140 countries. Uh, we've been speaking with lots of different countries who want to help, who want to reach out to the Iranians. And the more people around the world, the more people in the U.S. That sign that, uh, the, the more serious uh, the politicians get about it. It's been long enough. Let's hope he's released. Uh, good luck to you, your family, especially your brother, uh, Ali Rezaian. Thanks very much for joining us.